today in the category of stuff that you can score off of people on Craigslist, we have a heat kit, dual trace, 15 megahertz analog bandwidth oscilloscope. And we're going to see if this thing is actually working. Okay, so let's plug this thing in and see what we get. Okay, power comes on. That's a good sign. Um, but I don't see, oh, all right. Intensity, bring the intensity up. Well, we get a, we get a horizontal line. Left and right. Okay, that's good. Uh, what do we have there? That's the scale illumination. That's focus, so it focuses. Intensity, channel one. Oh, there's channel one position. There's channel two position. And look at that. Look at that. So, at least we've got a, uh, at least we've got a, um, a display. Uh, okay, so, uh, channel one only, and we're going to see if this thing is actually measuring anything. Oh, look at that. Okay, nice. So we've hacked up a quick sketch to um, on on our Arduino to produce a um, fifty percent duty cycle square wave. And yeah, look at that. It provides us with a. Um, with an output. That's pretty awesome. So what is in these things other than mad quantities of dust in this one? Let's find out. This one actually looks pretty clean. Um, now, I have to remember to be very careful because <laughs> that's a CRT and <laughs> there are there's going to be flyback transformers and whatnot in there that will just kill you if you um, touch the wrong thing. So let's just be a little careful, okay? And here we have a view inside of this little puppy. Lots of old school solid state goodness. Can transistors, some what look to be wire wound trimmers. Um, what's hiding in there? Oh, well, some more CAN transistors up there. And some nicely heat synced poly voltage regulators over here beside all of these mm, high wattage resistors. Probably for the uh, driving the CRT. So, yeah. Uh, need to dive into the schematic and just see how this thing works. Just wondering what that uh, that blue capacitor there looks like it's been replaced I wonder what else needs replacing in this in order to bring it into spec and the other thing I'm noticing is on the back side of that pot which is attached to our um, time division we have some precision resistors that are connected up to the switch and then it's a pot on the inside, which is, yeah, there's a, that pot rotates with the, um, with the frequency adjust. And then you've got your oh, very nice detents on those switches. Holy smokes. That is some collection of hand soldering to be done. Holy 
That would be some work to, <laughs> to put together. Nice.